American Desert West, complete with futuristic infrastructure and carefully planned roads and streets filled with autonomous electric vehicles. A city that combines the sprawl and diversity of New York, the efficiency and connectivity of Tokyo, and the governance and sustainability of Stockholm. An insane multi-billion dollar plan to create a futuristic city similar in scale and ambition to Saudi Arabia's The Line. Today, we'll be taking a look at the future city of Telosa, America's version of The Line. The city of Tolosa is a planned development that promises to not just be the city of the future, but also to be a completely new model for society. Similar in vain to mega-projects like Saudi's Naom, these planned megacities are a response to the emerging problems of today's world, which include overpopulation, pollution, and climate change. These future cities aim to redefine what it means to create a thriving city from scratch that is designed to be sustainable, resilient, inclusive, and equitable for all of its residents. The name Telosa comes from the ancient Greek word telos, which can roughly be translated to the greatest purpose. First unveiled to the public in September 2001, Telosa is the brainchild of American billionaire Mark Lohr. Shortly after stepping down as president and CEO of American retail powerhouse Walmart, Lohr announced his ambitious goal to create the planned city of Telosa. Through this visionary project, he aims to create a more equitable and sustainable future that can become a blueprint for future generations. In charge of the master planning of Tolosa will be world-renowned Danish architect Bjarke Ingels, who has previously been commissioned by Toyota to create a smaller, smart future city in Japan. At the core of Tolosa's mission is tackling the widening wealth gap. The goal is as ambitious as it is noble, to create a city where equal opportunities flourish, regardless of your socio-economic or cultural background. It's about ensuring everyone gets a fair shot at growth. Now the real game-changer here is equitism. This economic system is the heartbeat of Tolosa's plan. Here's the deal. Tolosa will own all of the city's land, but its citizens are handed the keys to build and sell homes on that very land. As the city grows, so do the land values. And the genius part, those increased land values circle right back into the city, funding public services, transportation, education, and healthcare. The result? True equity, where every resident gets equal access to high-quality services. It's a game-changer for urban living. But where exactly will this grand city rise from the sand? The location is still up for grabs, but the dreamers behind Tolosa have their sights set on the desert lands in the American West. Think Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, or Texas. And there's another consideration, the Appalachian region in the East, because the desert offers something money can't buy, cheap, untapped land. And with Tolosa's smart plan of reinvesting the land's growing value back into city services, it's like planting a seed that'll grow into something magnificent over time. But let's not forget the challenges. Creating a bustling metropolis in the heart of the desert is no easy feat. Just look at Saudi Arabia's Neom and the Line. They face delays and hurdles. You see, when you're starting from scratch in the desert, you need the basics facilities for construction equipment and personnel, all while battling the unforgiving climate. In the heart of innovation, Tolosa rises like a phoenix, ready to take on the challenges that even its predecessors, Neom and The Line, grapple with. They say, if you're going to do something, do it right. Well, Tolosa is doing just that. The scorching desert heat, no sweat. Tolosa plans to combat high temperatures with a game changer, complete reliance on renewable energy sources. Imagine this, every building will be adorned with photovoltaic cells on their roofs, soaking in the sun's energy. 
Wind turbines strategically placed around the city's borders will contribute their share, making Tolosa a power producer, not just a consumer. Right at the heart of Tolosa will stand the awe-inspiring Equitism Tower, the city's beacon and tallest structure. This marvel isn't just for show, it's designed to serve. Inside, you'll find an observation deck with panoramic views, an elevated water storage system to quench the city's thirst, and aeroponic farms that supply fresh produce. It's the ultimate example of a form-meeting function. But what's a city without a smooth commute? Telos has got that covered too. Say goodbye to the hours-long traffic jams. Thanks to a meticulously planned urban design and transportation system, residents are never more than a 15-minute commute away from key spots like offices, schools, parks, shops, and restaurants. While the line focuses on pedestrian-centric living and mass transit, Tolosa takes a different route. It's all about balance, combining smart transit systems with autonomous electric vehicles, they use the superblock concept. Heavier traffic is kept to the block borders, while bikes and slower electric vehicles rule the inner streets. It's all about keeping things moving and keeping noise at bay. Now, for the grand finale, the construction of Tolosa. It's no small feat. They're dividing it into two phases, and the first is set to be wrapped up by 2030. In this stage, Tolosa will be capable of housing 50,000 residents over an area twice the size of New York's Central Park. But Phase 2 will unfold over the next 40 years. Tolosa is set to emerge from the desert sands. In the next decade, it will become home to over 5 million people, covering more than 120 square kilometers. That's like having all of San Francisco's charm but with over six times the population in the same space. A city of the future, right in our midst. Now, let's talk funding. Unlike Saudi Arabia's The Line, which relies on the kingdom's wealth, Tolosa's financing is a tad more complex. It's a $400 billion endeavor, and the money primarily comes from private investors and federal and state grants. That means convincing both government bodies and investors to back this colossal vision. It's no small feat. But here's where it gets interesting. Tolosa's core philosophy is all about putting its people at the center of development. A grand plan indeed. However, the challenges are aplenty. Creating a city from scratch on this scale is a task that's not just financially ambitious, but environmentally daunting. One of the major hurdles is securing the funds needed to turn this vision into a reality. Building a city from the ground up is no easy task, and it's not something that happens overnight. Telosa's ambitious timeline is set for completion by 2030. And here's the big question. What sets Telosa apart from other megaprojects like NEOM? Well, it's about inclusivity, sustainability, and equity. Tolosa aims to be a shining example of a city that not only thrives, but does so without leaving anyone behind. It's a city where everyone has equal access to high-quality services. To make sure this city runs on clean energy, Tolosa plans to be fully powered by renewable sources. Picture each building equipped with photovoltaic cells on their rooftops, harnessing the power of the sun. And there will be wind turbines strategically placed around the city, all contributing to the power grid. The result? Tolosa generates more power than it consumes, becoming a self-sustaining electricity powerhouse. The Equitism Tower, this architectural marvel, isn't just about height, it's about purpose. With an observation deck offering breathtaking views, an elevated water storage system, and aeroponic farms that'll keep the city supplied with fresh produce, it's a symbol of form-meeting function. To top it all off, Tolosa's urban design ensures that residents are never more than a 15-minute commute away from key spots like offices, schools, parks, shops, and restaurants. Unlike the line, which focuses on a pedestrian-centric approach, 
Telosa strikes a balance between carefully planned transit systems and autonomous electric vehicles. It's all about keeping the city moving while keeping the noise at bay. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more.